Okay, so today we're going to be changing the battery in a 2017 13-inch MacBook Pro function key model. No touch bar. Bienvenue and welcome to 150 Days of Winter. Hello. Seven screws, one plate. We have a new battery for my Fixit, not sponsored. We'll be using an iFixit toolkit, again not sponsored, and some iFixit adhesive remover, again not sponsored. iFixit have, um, I think on their page, say between one and two hours to do this job. I think that's being a little bit uh, uh, over optimistic, um, or is that pessimistic? Anyway, uh, we're going to go and do this, hopefully, in a lot quicker time. Right. And as a good example of if a battery has gone bad, uh, you can already see around the edge of here that this has come up without me doing anything. So something inside is pushing up on this. So we move on. Uh, we need to undo the clips. Right. Please excuse that, my rudimentary overhead camera fell over. Uh, and now we need to... Uh, there we go. And here we go. So we need to... Move this guy out of the way. To reveal. That guy there. And we can unplug him on both sides. Put him to one side. And we need to do the battery. I believe is a T5. And we want to pull this guy up at the way. Now we need to remove guy and we need to remove this guy okay and of course very carefully we want to peel back this they recommend a bit of heat but generally you don't need to worry about that then then we have four T5s along e either side, which is where the trackpad is. Before I go and do the last screws here, what I want to do is, in order to protect the screen, I'm just going to lift this up ever so slightly and I'm going to place a rag underneath there just in case when this comes down that nothing gets scratched and now if I then open this up 
you can see very nicely that the that the trackpad comes out very easily and because I've done it like that none of the washers which uh, are on there have to be moved or anything right now we have two T5 screws on the top of the battery this guy's got a white dot on it fold that up like so right now using the adhesive remover we're now going to go and going to do either side and of course one of the reasons why I've put this rag here is that we have a massive hole where the uh, where the uh, trackpad used to be and I don't want any of this alcohol getting onto the screen otherwise it'll cause it to delaminate so and apply some adhesive remover down the sides of here. Now, most important thing, at least for me, a little bit OCD of me, but anyway, basically we now have to remove all these adhesive strips. It's the difference between a good job and a very good job. And there we go. You probably would have noticed that it's taken me more time just to remove the adhesive than it was to actually take out the battery. However, like I say, it's the difference between doing a good job and a very good job. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick in the, uh, the, uh, the trackpad back in. flat and we can go and put in the other five eight screws well then of course get our new a new iFixit battery. We put that board in. I'm now going to go and remove 
move the... Actually, no, what am I thinking? We now need to put this guy back in. And that... So there you have it. Unfortunately, the the GoPro being a GoPro went and overheated. Uh, basically, it overheated at about 33 minutes. But literally, we just had a few more screws to put back in and it is all back together again. Okay? Uh, I say that's pretty easy. As long as you know what you're doing. And on that, if you have any questions, comments down below. If you enjoy these uh, IT videos, then uh, click the old subscribe button, click the like button, and I will see you all in the next video. Ciao.